Namaste children. Welcome to our mathematics class. Today we are going to deal with chapter 1 real numbers of class 10. Let us move on to the topic the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. What does this theorem say? Every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. What I am going to do is, I am going to divide this theorem into three parts. Let us take the first part. Every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes. Let us take an example, 6. 6 is equal to 2 into 3. This is the only way to express the number 6 in terms of its prime factors. So that is why it is known as unique. Remember the part 2. It is unique. So 6 is equal to 2 into 3. This is the only way to express 6 in terms of its prime factors. Now let us consider the third part. What does it say? It says that apart from the order the prime factors occur. Children we have already learned in smaller classes about commutative property, associative property and all. So in this properties we have learnt even though if we change the order of the numbers the result doesn't change. So 6 is equal to either it can be written as 2 into 3 or it can be written as 3 into 2. Both are same. So let us club all these three parts together. The theorem states that every composite number can be expressed as the product of its primes and this prime factorization is unique. This is the only way to express apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. Let us see the examples children. Suppose 6 as I already told you 6 is equal to 2 into 3 then 12. Let us take the example 12. 12 is equal to 4 into 3. 4 means 2 square. 2 square into 3. Okay. 45. You see the example 45. 45 means 9 into 5 is 45. 9 can be written as 3 square. 3 square into 5. See all the numbers are expressed in terms of prime numbers and you know what a prime number is. A prime number is a number which has one and only one that fa number as factors. Prime numbers are numbers which have only one and the same number as factors that are prime numbers. The numbers which are not prime are composite numbers except one by because one is neither prime nor composite. Now children after learning this fundamental theorem of arithmetic you people will be able to find out the LCM and HCF of given numbers. You know what is LCM? Lowest common multiple. What is HCF? Highest common factor. So after learning this fundamental theorem of arithmetic, our objective is to find out the LCM and HCF of given numbers. Let us take an example. 36 and 48. 36 can be written as 2 square into 3 square. 48 can be written as 2 raised to 4 into 3. So in this prime factorization, children remember when you are going to find out the HCF, you have to take only the common factors with the least power. Don't forget, you have to take only the common factors with the least power. And when you are taking the LCM, take all the factors with the highest power. Take all the factors with the highest power. So here, 36 and 48, we have already found out the prime factorization. And after finding out HCF, see HCF means we will be taking only the common factors. And I told you 2 square and 2 raised to 4, which is the least factor. 2 square, 3 and 3 square, which is the least factor? 3. So HSCF is 2 square into 3, 4 into 3, HSCF is 12. Now let us find out the LCM. As I already told you, when you are finding out the LCM, you have to take all the factors with the highest power. So LCM, in case of 2, you can see 2 square and 2 raised to 4, which is the highest factor? 2 raised to 4 is the highest power. Similarly, 3 and 3 square, which is the highest to power? 3 square is the highest to power. So, for finding out the LCM, we need to find out all the factors with the highest to power. That is 2 raised to 4 into 3 square. When you multiply, you will get 144. 
Okay, so HSC if you got 12 and LCM you got 144. Now children, there is an important result here. Can you multiply the LCM and HSCF children? You got the LCM as 12 and you got the HSCF as 144. When you multiply this, you will get the answer 1728. Now, if you multiply the given numbers which I already gave you, 36 and 48, you will get the same result that is 1728 which clearly says that LCM into HSCF is equal to product of two numbers. That is LCM into HSCF is equal to product of two numbers. So here in today's module, we learned the fundamental theorem of arithmetic and the objective of this fundamental theorem of arithmetic that is to find out the LCM and HSCF of given numbers. And also the important result LCM into HSCF is equal to product of two numbers. Remember children, LCM into HSCF will not be equal to product of three numbers. It is applicable only in case of two numbers. So I think it is clear for you. Hope all of you have understood. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you soon. Bye.